morning. Welcome back to Love, Sex, and Money. It's Christine Regan Lake. Nice to have you back. So <clears throat> today I would like to talk to you about embodied sex versus mechanical sex. So what do I mean by embodied sex? So what I mean by that is that, you know, when you're making love to your partner, it's about bringing your entire being to every moment of that experience. You know, I've, I've worked with a lot of clients who've had sexual trauma. You know, I've worked, you know, and talked to a lot of people about their sexual experiences, both men and women. And, you know, it's always interesting to talk, to hear different perspectives. You know, there have been women I've talked to who absolutely love giving blowjobs and they find it to be erotic and a turn on and other women who are grossed out by it and they're not into it. Same thing with men. There are some men who love giving cunnilingus and there are some men who, you know, kind of aren't into it, right? But the thing about embodied sex is it's the concept of bringing your entire being to the sexual experience and that, you know, in terms of infusing your total energy, um, you know, so many things in life you're distracted, right? So like, you know, like you're washing the dishes and you're thinking of something else. Well, you know, people end up having that happen in sex too. You know, a woman's going down on a man and, you know, it's been quite a while. And so she's thinking, how long is this going to take? Or the same thing with the guy, he's going down on her and, you know, he's like, Jesus, this is taking forever. <laughs> you know? like, so, you know, it's, um, <clears throat> You know, the grace of embodied sex is that <clears throat> there is no race and it's not, um, you know, you're fully embodied and present in the moment and, um, you know, you're uh, infusing it like so in terms of you, you harness all of the energy that you have for your partner uh, in an ideal situation. This is someone you care for very deeply and, and or love, whatever. But you're harnessing all of that energy from your entire being and you're infusing it into that kiss, into that, you know, um, lick, into that tickle, into that whatever. And you are that physical expression is the manifestation of the emotional feelings that you have for that person. You know, mechanical sex where it's just where you're you're in your head and you're, you know, um you're you're thinking about it. You're not you're not present in your body. You're thinking about it. You're worrying about it. You're, you know, kind of like when is this going to be over or am I doing it right? I don't think I'm doing it right, you know, um you know, uh, is he going to get upset because I'm taking too long? You know, all these things, you know, the best thing you can do is, you know, you've got to get out of your head when you're giving head, you know, or receiving head, right? You know, it's just about being completely relaxed, completely in the present moment and to be able to capture and harness all of the intensity of the emotions that you feel for this person and, and bringing into that physical act of, you know, truly wanting to bring that person to the peak pleasure experience that they can have because that is the, that is the physical manifestation of the invisible, the, the emotional feelings that you have for them. It's, it's a way to show your love and your caring and your connection for that person. It's not just how do I get them off, right? You know what I mean? It's completely different. Mechanical sex and embodied sex are so completely different. And it can be such a beautiful experience and, you know, you think that your partner can't tell the difference? You know what I mean? Like, they can feel... They can feel in their energy field and in their body, they can feel the difference when you are, when you are sending all of that, you're sending your energy and your life force into them through that physical expression, through the, you know, the, 
the, the care and the softness and the tenderness and the, you know, you know, however you're expressing it, where it's, it's fully embodied and, um, it, it has a, a resonance that is completely different than mechanical sex. And this is the, these are the kinds of experiences that can take your relationship to the next level, you know, um, you know, energetically, people don't understand how important, you know, having command over your physical body is, having command over your energy body, having the ability to harness all of your energy and then send it into the person that you are with. It is one of the most extraordinary and powerful and transformational experiences. And yet it's, it's something that like, you know, a lot of people aren't taught. They don't understand it. They don't. And it's mostly because you know, unless you go down the path of really exploring energy work or, you know, deep breath work and things like that and learning how to, you know, really um, take command of your emotion and be able to um, send it and, and, and manipulate it and harness it and channel it and move it and, you know, things like that. I mean, it's truly a gift and it's so powerful and it can take your sexual connection. It can take your intimate relationship. It can take your, it can take your love to another level because, it's a, it's a higher level of connecting. It's a, a more beautiful and profound way to, you know, it transcends words, you know, when you can transmit the energy and the frequency of love through your physical body into this other person through the acts of, you know, sex and, and sexual connection or even soft loving touch, things like that. Embodied sexual connection, embodied, you know, affection is, is transformational. And I, tr I highly encourage anyone who really wants to take their intimate relationship to the next level to go down that path of learning about energy work, connecting with your body, learning how to harness your energy, learning how to send your energy, learning, you know what I mean? Like learning how to intermingle your energies through tantric breath. This is something that can transform your relationship. It can take your relationship to a transcendent place that you've never experienced before. But it does take consciousness. It takes the ability to witness your ego. It takes the ability it takes the ability of you being able to be vulnerable, take down your walls, open your heart. Uh, and to be present. You, none of this is possible if you can't be present. You've got to stop time traveling, thinking, you know, time traveling to the past, thinking about the past wounds and the people that hurt you, or having anxiety about the future, about, you know, what if this relationship doesn't work out? What if this person breaks my heart? You know, what if I regret this sexual experience? You've got to stop time traveling and you've got to be absolutely present with your partner with an open heart, being vulnerable, and, and just allowing the experience to move forward and unfold moment to moment, emotionally open, heart connected, um, you know, with love and respect and, uh, you know, compassion and gentleness and tenderness. It's all beautiful. So anyway, I hope you found value in that. I just wanted to share that with you today. That was what was on my heart and mind. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to do that. And don't forget to hit the bell button to be notified when I upload new content because I'm constantly doing that. And uh, if you haven't uh, um, seen the link that I have in the description box, I have a link to my Operation Underground Railroad fundraising page. I am on a mission to raise a million dollars to rescue children from human trafficking. It is a $150 billion industry. It is the fastest growing criminal enterprise on the planet. It is horrific. And these children need our love and leadership. I've personally already donated over $16,000 to Operation Underground Railroad, and I will continue to donate to them as I grow this channel. So I hope you found value. Have a beautiful day and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Thanks. Bye.